Hey guys, what's up? Today I'm going to show you um, some of the major problems and issues and stuff with the Snowbreeze Jailbreak Beta that we made a video on earlier. This is basically a continued uh, version. If you had any problems with the Jailbreak, this is probably the video to uh, look at. I'm going to go over a few things. First off, I'm going to show you how to get your select your firmware if you don't know which IPSW to go to. So go to the link in the description and what you're going to do is find your device. Per, per se, I want an iPhone 4. You're just going to find the iPhone 4, and then you need the 4.3 version, which is right here. So then you're going to hit download, and that will be the file which you'll need, which is this one. The other file is Snowbreeze. That's just a download, and we have that on our site. And on to the next set of questions. These are all coming from the comments. Um, the next thing is how to get iBooty. Basically, how the jailbreak works is for every specific um, device you do, it'll make a separate version of iBooty. And this is because it's taking files from the firmware and running them, um, running the commands on the computers. And it's basically a user interface for the older opponent's tool style thing. And it's very nice. And what happens is once you run Snowbreeze, it will show up on your desktop. See mine showed up right here. So you don't actually download this. This comes out of Snowbreeze after you do the initial try. And you can open it, and here's iBooty. You just have to open that. Don't take it out of this folder, and you should be good to go. Um, another thing is errors in the 6000s. If you get an error, which is in the 6000, that's what I had once. I believe it was 6000. It might have been a 6001 or something. What you're going to do is get iReb. There will be a link in the description. And I'll open this up to show you how it works. Basically, you're going to choose your device. So, per se, I have an iPhone 4. You're going to hit iPhone 4, go into DFU mode, and once you're done, iTunes will pop up. And that brings me to another problem you might have. You have to have iTunes 10.0. If you don't, then you are. it is not going to work, so you're going to have to update that and you should be good so I'm not actually going to be doing this DFU mode iTunes will pop up try restoring again and that's how it happened for me the first time didn't work second time worked took a really long time and it wouldn't load until I did iBooty which it's supposed to load now another problem is if Cydia is not opening it is because you didn't use iBooty you have to boot this into tethered mode and I'm going to show you what you're going to do every single time your iPhone iPod iPad turns off. What you're going to do is open iBooty like this, select your device, and put it in DFU mode. This uh, will run across the screen. When it's done, it will boot your device, and that's what you're going to have to do every time you turn it on because this is tethered. You can always downgrade if you like, and you can always subscribe, and a video will come to you when the full jailbreak comes out, hopefully shortly. This is just a quick um, questions, answers, and help for our previous video. I hope you guys like this, and I hope your questions was answered. If you don't, if, if your question wasn't answered, please leave a comment on our channel page, not this video, and I'll be most likely helping you as soon as I get the email from YouTube. That's it. Thanks for watching, and please subscribe.